Prime Time, presented by AT&T. Have a great night. There's a point in the college basketball season where a game is more than just a test. Take Florida versus Kentucky. On the surface, it's a mid-season top-seeded SEC battle. Yes! That is big time. But beneath, <laughs> you don't even want to know. That blue you will see left on the court when the game is over will be blood. There's the response they're looking for. Left there by the team that walks away the victor, not the victor. A stain of pride, of SEC superiority. Of the team that knew it took more than just playing the game. To pass the test. Tonight's game is part of ESPN's Journey to the Tourney, presented by Sonic. A win for Kentucky because of an illness. May play tonight, but will not start. We'll see how that impacts Kentucky's offense, which is one of the best in the country. Uh, Kentucky starts out in man-to-man, -man, and Kayvon Allen, as Maria Taylor was just talking about, he's the key. He's got to find shots, and he's got to score. Justin Leon steps in, rejected by Wenyon Gabriel. Shot clock at 12, still Florida ball. Gabriel has done a good job rebounding, and he is very active. Casey Hill, the senior, forces it up, and it's laid in nicely at the rim. Against the Wildcats last season, including nine dunks. <laughs> Doing his damage around the rim as he did right there. Hill starts off guarding Monk. Bam Adebayo rejected from behind. Hill the senior with a full head of steam. Off the glass, no good. Egbunu with a rebound. And it comes down to the Gators. Allen. Got it! About being quick to the ball. When that ball is loose, you had better come up with it. Bam Adebayo. And Bam Adebayo is headed to the basket. You have to look lob. Hill can't finish. Gabriel the rebound. Kentucky looking to push. This is Briscoe. Lays it in with a left hand. But challenging Adebayo. But if you let him get it that deep, it's usually going to be a score, a foul, or both. Another three. And this time it will go for Casey Hill. Just his sixth three in 28 attempts on the season. But taken in great rhythm because of the excellent penetration by Kayvon Allen. When he is that assertive, he can open things up for his teammates. The answer. Florida doing a good job keeping Kentucky off the offensive glass. A big point of emphasis for Mike White. Jumper won't go for Devin Robinson. He can hit that shot, but that was not a good one. Fox the distance. He wants goaltending, but it's a block. He's caught behind the play, and Hill goes coast to coast. He bounded at a higher rate, and he's got to defend really well. Barry off the inbounds. Loose ball underneath, corralled by the Gators, and a chance for three. Pushes. Low post position right under the rim. He has been remarkably efficient. Florida's got to stop picking up their dribble before they have something to do with it. Chiozano running down the rebound, Leon. Sixth offensive rebound already for Florida, and they cash it in. Bound that Florida was just quicker, too. That, that's a want to issue. That's a, you can't diagram a play for that. Chioza nearly comes up with a steal. Briscoe inside, rolls off the rim. Gabriel gets the follow. I'll tell you, Briscoe is remarkable at finding space in the paint, getting to the rim. Chioza! No. You have to stay active behind the zone. Chioza misses the three and Willis the rebound. Boy, they had a great opportunity for a lob getting behind the zone there, just couldn't execute it. Fox, soft touch. Oh, Florida was slow getting back on D that time. Yeah, when you take questionable shots, you are putting your transition defense in a really bad spot. Corner three. That in. Good pass. And out of bio. I mean, the score of the game looks like Kentucky and Florida have been playing pickup, and yeah. they're scoring by ones. Allen got it. Great feed by Chioza would be awesome and then a dodgeball game wouldn't be bad either that goes without saying into the game for florida for the first time eric hester a freshman out of clearwater who's taken on a larger role in recent games second three of the night for devin robinson he played extensively three games ago when a canyon Berry was out with an ankle injury and had 16 points of that game having come into it with just 24 points on the season here he is got it 
Right on cue. It's 10 senior transfer from Stanford. Number 32, Skyler Rimmer. And they need to go to Adebayo right away against Rimmer. They did. He bobbles it. Briscoe comes up with it. Briscoe driving by Rimmer on the baseline. And he walks in that game. Yeah, I hate to break it to you. This is your last game. Too, oh, right? really? Yeah. <laughs> well, sorry, I'm sorry like, to be the one to have to tell you that. Yeah. Uh, already having lost today on a wild day. And here's Reese is pensive right now. Reese is deep in thought, perhaps contemplating. The yeah. <laughs> Mulder, and he knocks down. I think Kayvon Allen's got to get more involved. Kentucky has made it very difficult for him to get shots. Great hesitation move. Boy, he is shifty. But only a seven-point lead, and as well as they've played, that is not that is not a very big lead. Another offensive rebound, this time by Robinson. Allen hangs and hits. Right back into his hands. We know he's an elite scorer, so that's exactly what Coach Cal expects him to do in the end of this half. All right, Maria, thank you. Opening up the second half, Allen with a corner three. And the rebound down to Fox, who didn't start the game, does start the second half. Monk around and out. And the birthday boy, 19 today, as you mentioned, still scoreless. Hill trying to go coast to coast. The kick back to Leon. Yes! Quickly gets it into the paint, and that opens up the entire floor for his teammates. He is the only Florida player who has experienced victory against Kentucky. Than when he's just a jump shooter. Briscoe slowed down by the Florida defense again, and the shot clock down to seven. Fox, long two is there. It's hard to play extended minutes, especially on the road. Hill up top, Adebayo down with a loose ball. Fox pushing it, finishing it, and drawing the foul. He had. I bet most coaches say, man, breathe on my player, see if they'll <laughs> catch it. Is he okay? Remember, he was getting some work done on his calves in the first half, but he appears to be all right right now. What a beautiful spin move by Canyon Berry. Known as a shooter, but he's got a great shot fake. Mump comes up empty again. Too difficult to shot. Chioza to Allen. Briscoe. Bounce pass, cross court, Hawkins knocked away. Boy, that looked like a foul. That was a foul. <laughs> Barry's open. Got it. Canyon Barry, the son of the Hall of Famer, Rick Barry. All right, maybe we'll see him at the free throw line. Thanks for your time. Thank you, my pleasure. So for those who don't know, haven't seen, Canyon Barry shoots his free throws underhanded as his dad, Rick, did. His entire career, Rick is one of the great free throw shooters in basketball history, 89% in his career. Canyon Berry, who's not been to the line tonight, has made 27 in a row at the free throw line this year. A fundamental role in many communities despite the dangers of the sport. That's after the game tonight. Hill, the jumper over Gabriel, yes. When he came into college, he was a McDonald's All-American coming out of high school. A lot of people thought, hey, this kid's got to be a pro. Turnover, and it's Hill to slam it home. It's really the key, because the one guy that can take off on them is number five. Adebayo draws the double team. Now back to single man. You've got to jump in there. You can't wall him off. you got to jump and try to block it. Monk the kick. Mulder the three. Briscoe with a weak side rebound. Fox climbing the ladder, couldn't dunk it, and here goes Chioza behind oh. the back to Robinson. What a slick play by Chioza. Monk forces it up and in at the other end. But De'Aaron Fox looked like he had a tip dunk on one end and it turns into a dunk on the other because of the heady play by Chris Chioza and that pass back was spectacular. Hills having himself a night. And it has been a hill to climb for Kentucky. Casey Hill, this has been perhaps his best game. Oh, media timeout. Yeah, we were talking about Casey Hill before and having sort of accepted that Maybe his career's not going to be in the end. What a move wow. by Adebayo.
But maybe his career's not going to be in the NBA. Uh, being, there's nothing wrong with being a really good college player. You know, Devin Robinson has done a great job of sort of, of accepting that, hey, you know, handle the college thing first. Boy, they're running. One of the arenas where the student section is right behind us, and the reptiles are rowdy tonight. Tough one by Monk. Great job by Casey Hill defensively. Negotiating that screen and getting right to us today. They will be in Manhattan to take on. And Hicks both having been injured. It's remarkable, really, for a team that we said, hey, they there is a ton of time left in this game. Just past the midway point of the second half. And there are some things along the baseline. If Devin Robinson and Ekbunu operate along the baseline, they can get some good things. Chioza off to Hill. Kick in the corner. Robinson gets it off, and it rattles in. Robinson. Adebayo loses the handle. Allen, shovel pass, and Bunu will slam it home. Who's the great transition team? Looks like Florida right now. Adebayo working hard, can't finish. Good defense by Igbunu. And that's two in a row by Igbunu. And they beat him down the floor again. This is a tail kicking right now. Good. And I'm telling you, Florida's got something really good here. Let's go to Maria. Coach Cal said at halftime too, Jay, that at the end of the day, they're going to have to fight this one out. He's going to find out whether or not his team is willing to do so because that's what it's going to take in the second. Well, he's not going to like that. And it's 14-4 to on the offensive glass. Kentucky can't even find a second shot. Again with his dad, the Hall of Famer, looking on. And it was an unmitigated disaster. Coach team that has done a good job for most of the year, if not all the year. Again, they've lost two of their last three coming in, and the one they won was in overtime. It's got a team that's healthy now. And with Sundarius Thornwell back from suspension, Thornwell's an... Gabriel Briscoe looking on from the bench. Hill, nice pass. Rimmer will finish. Monk, no. Mulder, the save. Mulder, the three. Got it. Boy, he can really double-headed with Louisville and Virginia in the first game. Boy, Virginia always see, or Louisville always seems to struggle with Virginia. Well, everybody does. Another great pass. They presented by eBay right here on ESPN. Barry with the shot clock running down, finds a seam. Limping up the floor after making a, another great defensive play. You know, really, Kentucky's been dominated in this game by Florida's defense and dominate, dominated on the glass. And Florida has moved the ball beautifully, too. What a confidence builder this yeah. has to be. When you're trying to build a program up into national prominence, this is a confidence builder not only for Mike White, but for his team and for their belief in what he's trying to do here. Tuesday night, they'll be in Athens. They'll take on Georgia on ESPN2. And that is going to be a tough game because Yante Mate and J.J. Frazier are really good players. Oh! Agbunu with the exclamation point. I can't remember seeing Kentucky get beat like this. Give Florida a ton of credit. Their defense was a joy to watch. Mulder will lay it in, and now the Gators will run out the final seconds and enjoy the fruits of their labor with a dominant performance against the Wildcats. Largest margin of victory in series history this is the 137th time they met largest margin of victory for florida in series history what a night for the gators here at gainesville as they dominate kentucky 88 to 66 and it's tight at the top in the sec right now both of these teams at 8-2 south carolinas at nine and one outside the lines football forever coming up next so long from gainesville